Fault Securities. I'm joined by Matt Brown. Morning to you, Matt. Morning, Moose. Um, right, let's kick off. Without further ado, we've got a number of slides to whiz through. Um, mm -hmm. Kick off with market movers. MPC expected to keep rates on hold. Fed speakers indicate QE unwind over the next four years, I think it is. Um, so no rates movement today? No, very unlikely. Uh, look for the voting um, and, and the comments as well. It's Super Thursday, so there's a lot of data. And Carney will be speaking afterwards, so look for direction on potential rate hikes, but we're not going to see any big move. You've already mentioned the Fed last night, John Williams speaking. They're looking to unwind QE, maybe start in the final quarter of this year, but as you rightly say, to unwind the huge bond portfolio they have could take four years and that's without them going in you know heavily into the market but if they need to get out of that program quickly that's not good for bonds okay let's move on to the FTSE 100 um a company that i know nothing about next that's for young people right um <laughs> figures have come out today not a good year and um, what was the headline not a good year um their in-store sales down 11 percent. so it's the bricks and mortar play People aren't getting onto the high street and shopping. We've seen this happen, certainly happen, happening in the US and it's happening in the UK on the high street. However, their online sales are up and that is what's supporting next. Their outlook actually for the year isn't too bad and on, on the back of that, we're seeing the share price up about 9, 10% this morning. Understood. Let's turn our attention now to the AIM market. AIM, one to watch. Gear for music. Again, a subject <laughs> I know nothing about. Uh, what's caught your attention here? Again, this, this is uh, probably for the youngsters out there. This is a music shop online. It's that simple. I mean, it's the online play we already talked about next and the uh, bricks and mortar. These guys work online. So they online. sell records online effectively? Well, it's uh, music equipment, so guitars, drums, etc. All the things to keep uh, the neighbours happy, I'm sure. Right. But anyway, look, the stock was trading at £1.50 last year. The company wasn't making a profit. It's now starting making a profit, about £2 million a year, so it's not big numbers. The stock is trading near £7, has been up to £7.50. The directors sold a lot of shares in a placing, about 4.5 to £5 million in May. The stock looks overvalued up here. Understood. Let's move on to the currencies. The great British pound, <laughs> um, cable, cross rate 132.28, onward and upward, and euro, great British pound 89.51. Yeah, it's hardly moving. I mean, uh, you've got to flick the screen to make sure it's still working. But with the MPC today, that will get volatility into the pound. So we could see some moves, certainly before the announcement and certainly afterwards. But it strikes me everybody that's come on the show is bullish on cable at the moment. Talking up to 140, Ronnie Chopra this week, so we should see by you. Yeah, I mean, it's had a big move up, that's the thing, and 134 is the next stop, but it seems anchored at 132. Let's wait for the MPC to see what the move is. Understood. Let's go on to our core number. Now, this is on a day when the FTSE <laughs> chief executive's pay dropped 17%, the headlines. What is 198 million? It is the amount that PSG are paying Barcelona for Neymar. 198 million. They want the cash in the bank, though, before the deal is, yep. is signed because it seems like such a large number. And it's huge, isn't it, Moose? I mean, it, oh, it's, it's staggering. But Neymar, I mean, he's going to make 40 million a year. But you look at the moment, he's making about 25 million on sponsorship deals. I'm sure they'll, they'll grow as well. So. He's got a bit of money to invest into this market, hopefully. Um, but it's huge. But you've also got to look now, these football clubs are paying such large amounts. Where do they get the money from? Well, it's from sponsorship and it's from TV rights. Mm. So the likes of Sky, when they renegotiate... The numbers have been falling this year in yep. terms of viewership. Exactly. So how do they make up that money? I mean, it's, it's huge numbers. But when you look at the States and you look at basketball and baseball, they're paying like $250 million for some of their top players. So... Football's got a little way to go to get to those Don't levels. Don't you go anywhere, young man. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the economic calendar. Um, key components today, Bank of England interest rate decision and initial jobless claims in the US of A and the market services PMI. Obviously, all eyes on interest rates. Yes, uh, but keep an eye out at, uh, later on in the US for the PMI numbers. They'll, they'll be key as well, so that could uh, move the dollar. But yeah, sit tight, 12 o'clock, MPC. Understood. And finally, leading headline, Dow Jones over 22,000 for the first time. Onward and upward. 25,000 the next stop, maybe. We shall see. Matt, as always, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Time.